The challenge in designing the library was twofold. One was that it was an intervention in a, what one might call a modernist heritage legacy. And the other was having done that, how does one accommodate a very large program which would have required a six-story building? And so the way we addressed it was to really establish and respect all the datums of the existing buildings. And that meant we had to sink our building three floors into the ground. Instead of creating pancakes, which go three floors below the ground, the sections are staggered so that the vistas and the view corridors are elongated and you don't feel claustrophobic. I like how the eye wanders inside. You're on different levels and you're able to see across bookshelves, look at students going here and there. Architecturally, how we dealt with this problem was really thought of the building as three buildings nestled into each other. The outer skin, which comprises the louvers, uh, is a shading device. Uh, the next building nestled into it is a metal frame with gypsum board because it's very well protected from the weather. Uh, and it contains the reading rooms, the reception, the areas with a lot of very generous light. And then the third building, which is nestled within it, are the book stacks. It's actually treated as a building within a building. It is not as, as if like other libraries where you feel like you are sitting in a huge dark box and you know you are aloof from everything. It still feels like it gives that studio feels because we as architects are more fond of studios rather than classrooms. So we've used exposed concrete that creates the shell or the courtyard into which the building is nestled. Uh, then we've used steel which sits within that which is well protected, which is dry construction. The outer face is a base of concrete but with dry construction above with louvers. And one of the things we did do was create a manual uh, which uh, shows how the louver settings can be optimized for different seasons, different months, different times of the year. It's a building that is particularly alive on campus, actually uh, drawing the whole campus into itself and make it, making its presence felt all around.